Hello everybody and thank you for coming to another segment and video of Deb Chanel's 48th World where we keep it real, we give our own opinions and then we sit back and let you tell me what you thought about the video I presented to you all or the commentary. Alright, remember all things work good together for those who love the Lord unless you on that other realm where you want the money, 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 money. Okay, when you walk through, mm, when you walk through, mm, when you walk through, child, I bet Mike had everything and anything to do with Cynthia not coming to Greg's uh, memorial service or celebration of life uh, gathering that Nene threw for her husband. I'm sure Peter would have been there if Nene invited him, but who's to say he didn't come? But he probably would have been photographed, so maybe he was busy at the time, but you never would have thought that this person miss kenya more twirl hair care okay showed up left new york because she was filming or doing something uh, i think she was working with dancing with the stars but she left her event to come and give some support and solidarity to her arch nemesis nene leaks now who would have thought i'm still in shock about it i am because you know i usually see kenya in another whole light but she fooled the hell out of me and i want to say i'm sorry kenya i truly am for tr uh, thinking you were just all about yourself all about yourself but you showed up and showed out honey and shout out to the jasmine brand she's a vlogger go over there and see your site i'm sure you'll love all her commentary because she gives um commentary on all celebrity news out there but cynthia 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 how in the world did we see you at Lanethia just recently here in Atlanta? Okay, because we know you don't live here anymore. Or you're doing that bi-coastal thing, but you're mostly saying you're in L.A. now with your hubby. But uh, Cynthia was seen photographed at the Lanethia Lounge. And Lamar Odom, of all people, had to be there too. I don't know what he's doing in Atlanta. Maybe he stay here. I have no idea. But that was just a precarious person to be there but you know whatever but that's kim i mean chloe kardashian you remember she sucked him dry poor man got on uh crack or something some type of illicit drug and hadn't been the same since then i tell you them kardashians do something to these black men they really do they do something to them i guess they suck a little bit of life out of them but anyway yes cynthia bailey showed up after all it wasn't at that celebration of life party. She just wanted to walk through. What a walk through. When she walked through. When she walked through. Girl, she showed up at the Lanethia Lounge looking for her friend, her comrade. I don't know what they are, to tell you the truth. But you mean to tell me, Eva, um, um, Kenya Moore, um, Marlo Hampton, and other besties showed up. You know, and you had to know that Marlo was going to be there for her a spoon cone. Now, her and Marlo have thrown digs at each other. Then he done walked up, left her at the table talking to herself when they were filming one of the seasons on <laughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta. And Kim and her husband showed up. Now, you know, Kim, I mean, Nene had talked nasty, terrible about Kim and Kenya. But they both showed up in solidarity. They pushed their they feelings aside. They showed it. They pushed them all out the door. Okay? Because they saw Greg as a human being and an a, a honorable man. And he loved himself some Nene. So if they didn't come for Nene, they came for Greg. You know what I'm saying? But at least they showed up and showed out. But where were you, Miss Cynthia? Where were you? That is what we're still trying to find out. Not that you really owe us any explanation. But if Nene's arch nemesis that she was going to spit on, Kenya Moore, showed up. Girl, unless she was in the hospital, a family member was dying. Uh, just something horrific. Nothing should have kept you from coming to Nene's. Especially if you got an invitation. Now, if you didn't get an invitation, I could see why you didn't show up. But just the, the, uh, just the craziness in me, I would have showed up anyway. <laughs> showed up anyway saying you didn't send me no invitation but greg was my friend you know i liked him when we, he was on this earth you're not gonna keep me from him da 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 because i guess they had a, a very private family memorial service where it was just a family you know and then they either put him in an urn or maybe he's in a grave uh uh, I don't know. They didn't really say anything about it. Because even Portia showed up. That's what I'm saying. Even Portia showed up. And I don't even think they on good terms. Y'all were once friends. Cynthia and um, 
Nene. I mean, I know she was she. You probably been still mad because she didn't make your wedding and this and that. But she gave you presents. She gave you presents, girl. And you know, like I said, we don't always get to know what goes behind closed doors with some of these celebrities out here and how they come and go towards each other. But it's just kind of funny that you could not put that aside. I'm giving you my Claire Huxtable. Yes, my Felicia Rashad look. Like, are you crazy? Sometimes you just have to set certain things aside. And be the bigger person, be the mature one, and, and be the one that's going to do right when it when it comes down to something like death. Now, you know, wedding, you know, here or there, they still live. And you can always go, you know, and make it up to that person because they're still living. But how you going to make it up to Greg? How you going to make it up to Greg? He, he gone. He in another plane of existence that we know nothing about. But Eva had something mean to say. Kenya had something to say. Phaedra Pauls had something to say about Nene here and there down the whole history of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But they all came together in solidarity. Okay? In solidarity. For Nene Leaks. Yes. But you're going to show up one week and a dollar late. How they say? Uh, something and a dollar short. Two, five dollars and a dollar. It's some old saying. I can't think of it right now. But it, it, it just sums it up as too little, too late. Okay? Too little, too late. That's what you have to have in your mind. Too little, too late that you didn't get a chance to see Greg feel his essence, uh, his spirit, you know, whatever was going on at that celebration of life party. You know what I'm saying? For you to even just look at him and just say in your mind dang man i wish you was still him dang i wish i would have got back with nene uh before you left and you could have saw us you know compadres once again you know but you didn't have that moment you didn't have that time and maybe you did it was just in la with mike because i tell you i don't know i could if i was a bed woman i would bet at least a hundred dollars that that doggone mike told you not to go and you didn't go because, Cynthia, you have always been running out the Nene. Nene has always been treating you here and there. But you always stuck beside her. I'm not saying Nene was the best friend she could have possibly been to you. And Lord knows you may know a lot more than what we do that we didn't see on the show. But you must have liked her so much. She called Peter a itch. Remember? And you still stayed friends with her. <laughs> you still stay friends with her. You know? Because Peter, he got off his uh, horse. and You know, he, he was in the wrong playing field. He should have st stayed over there with the men and not come over there trying to figure out what the women were. You know, or then he got a fast, loose mouth. She'll say what's coming on her mind, and that's it. But, you know, I just don't understand. And her and Kenya definitely have had words and, and saliva going everywhere and all that kind of stuff. Yelling at one another. But she came and supported I don't know why Nene don't like that color hair. That does her more justice than that blonde. But I guess she said blondes have more fun. Uh, she's a witness to it. Because when she have on that, all that blonde hair. Uh, she seems like she gets get. I don't know. She'd be another person or something. But yeah that is the photo that they got shopping around. Uh, on everybody's a website or a video channel. That covers you know celebrity news or whatnot. Said they showed up child. She looked kind of tired. She look kind of tired, honey. But they got her all full in, uh, with her in live and in color. Okay? That's where we got them. But we got her one week, one day too short of the celebration party that um, Nene had for her husband, her deceased husband, her late husband, however you want to see it. Now she's going to come up. And that picture show look like that. They all faking. They all faking. It's just like a, a we call it a PR um red carpet type event where you have to post a smile and you know once the cameras are off you your smile go away that's what that uh picture uh represented that you saw marlo lamar odom and uh cynthia and nene together at her lounge uh partying it up and you know most people have their ways of saying why nene up in her club or her lounge doing things well you know sometimes people grieve in a lot of different ways um and sometimes they think they're over their grieving period and it comes back and slap them all upside their head and, and they face and they you know go to grieving you know once more for me if she can't too much take it or handle it she should go seek counseling from a professional licensed professional counselor or talk to her pastor 
those would be my two choices or talk to a family member or some good friends uh, that she can um, definitely rely on when things get too rough for her they have definitely went through similar events or just good people all the way around uh, never experienced anything like death uh, but they have the empathetic heart to be there for you to uh, hold you up when you're falling down but you know I always trust in the Lord honey he can't do it like nobody he can only do it okay ain't nobody on this earth can do it like he can do it relieve your pain and all that kind of thing all right but uh yeah i said lord i saw it on somebody's platform i forgot who it was uh it could have been house of Aaron or kempire i watched those two if y'all know who i'm talking about on youtube if you don't google them and go over there and watch their commentary they're pretty straight up people like them they straight into the point such as myself but i'm uh much older than they are so my perspective is going to be a lot on how I feel with my age group and my generation. And just things that I've personally experienced. But I don't know, honey. I don't know about this friendship. Because you see, they like that photo. All the person that looking like they having fun in Marlo. <laughs> Marlo out there having fun by herself, honey, in the limelight with all these celebrities just following her. Okay. I mean, o Lamar Odom was a good basketball player at one time, but, you know, things just happened. And things went left for him, and he's been trying to fight his demons ever since. So keep him in prayer, y'all. Uh, I like to see people try to turn away from something bad and try to, you know, stay on the right path and do the right thing, even though it's a struggle for them daily. But uh, prayers goes a long way. Prayers goes a long way. Come tell you. woo hoo hoo when Miss Kenya Moore show up and show up, I ain't got nothing to say bad about Kenya no more for now. I don't. I really don't. Because when she did that, I said, that's maturity right now. That's maturity. And you know, Portia, she going to show up anyway. She going to show up, honey. She came from the Bahamas to come back and make that celebration um, gathering they was having for Greg. And, you know, I thought it was kind of a nice one they need to invite all her people. All her people past and present. Uh, and we know why Candy didn't show up. But I think she would have showed up anyway. Uh, even if Nene probably didn't give her invitation. Because, uh, you know, they, they are in Atlanta. And I think Candy was here. I don't think she was taping anywhere. But she stays busy herself as well. But um, I think she would have came. Because she know how to put differences aside as well. And support her uh, cast mates. Even they don't necessarily support her. And I, I concur with her. It has been some things she had been doing and, you know, people fell short. I think Portia fell short, but that, they, you know, they talked about it. They talked it out and pretty much Candace said breakfast in her body and her family's not doing bad or anything like that. She's going to support Portia in the future. And she really hopes Portia supports her and, you know, her endeavors as things come up. Okay, with her uh, striving and trying to be a better woman uh, and a more successful woman in her business career. Okay. But y'all, I, I don't know what to say about Cynthia. She too damn old to be acting this way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it, you know. Just putting it out there. She almost um, damn near six years old going around him, you know. And like I said, she don't necessarily have to come, you know, and, and partake of uh, Nene. And she probably didn't get an invitation. But I, I find it hard to believe if Nene sent it out to the rest of the cast that she didn't care about. I mean, she sent one to Cynthia. I mean, she sent one to Kenya. And she going to pass up Cynthia? No, nah, I hardly think so. But, um, no, then again, um, Cynthia may have some ill will towards her. <laughs> that she probably have to work out through counseling or prayer. Whichever one. Counseling or prayer. But sometimes you can't always be out there getting that money. And forget about people that you really hold dear, uh, near and dear. And, you know, like I said... Karma is a mess. Karma is a mess. No Mike had anything to do with the decision of you not coming. He's going to get his karma. Yes, he is. Because I, I, I tell you, if he, she was still married to Peter, Peter and uh, Cynthia would have been there. They said, what else? With bells on. With bells on. But uh, that's all I pretty much had, y'all. Um, again, that's Lamar Odom. And we all know that's Kim. I mean, Kenya Moore. Okay, Kenya Moore hair care. Kenya, I don't know. That's just a cute little sh uh, slogan or something in my mind. I just keep every time I think of her, I say hair care. All right. Well, yeah, Mike has something to do with it. He'll get his karma because I it, it just don't it just don't seem like Cynthia, if she was by herself or maybe with someone else, she would pull a stunt for not coming and showing up for Nene's event. 
she's done it too many times you know it's, it's, it's like she broke pattern I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but she broke pattern at the wrong time you know what I'm saying don't uh, say you finna make a stance Cynthia when it's something as pivotal as a deceased person that you once knew and you just decided not to go <laughs> Who I said I well you know like I said anything happened to Mike and Nene don't show up uh yeah that's just I guess she just played the piper just like you played it on her but it'll be a sad day a sad day on this earth if something happened to Mike and Nene came to Mike's uh procession or his transitioning celebration you may have had for him wouldn't that show you up real big and ugly wouldn't that Cynthia girl because I'm telling you. <sighs> you gonna show up in Atlanta this past weekend go and see your uh, so called sister slash best friend a week and a day too short or is it two weeks and a day too short I'm really not sure but a, do they say a dollar late and two cents short I don't know I'm gonna let that saying go because I hadn't got it when I figured it out I'll bring it back on another video but yes, you brought your tail, flew your tail back into Atlanta, took it down now to Duluth, Georgia, where Nene resides with her, uh, Lanithia Lounge. I think Nene lives in Duluth, um, if I'm not mistaken. But that's neither here nor there. There, you showed up at the club at the Lanithia Lounge where all the booty shaking and the uh, eating uh, is partaking going on and uh, we're relaxing. Uh huh. Okay. This thing I'll show you. Alright. Her name and stuff on that. Carolyn Clemens. Oh, we don't know that person. Uh uh, just throw it away. That's pretty much uh, just somebody wants you to join their religion. Yeah, just throw it away. But yeah. That was a mild, mild interruption from mom. Mom comes by sometimes when I'm taping and I think I need to talk to her. But okay, we're, she's gone now and we're going to continue. Or we're going to conclude, I should say. Because we don't, we don't talk uh, 17 minutes on some nonsense that she going to show her tail up in Atlanta. Uh, and I'm like, damn, why you didn't go to her home, Cynthia? Why? And, and, and it's not to say you didn't go to her home and y'all yeah, just ended up at the Lanithia Lounge. But I'm just going by what I see. I see a picture at uh, the Lanithia Lounge. It's nighttime. And Lamar Odom is there partying up. You know, having drinks. Having little cocktails. Probably eating a little bit here and there. Because she does serve food. And uh, just having a good time. And then you show up and bust everybody bubbles. Because, of course, I'm sure... If you just showed up on the spot, then he'd probably like, Harper, who this woman? Why is she here? Why is she here now? Uh, and then she come to a place of business where anybody can pull out their phones if they have an altercation. And then we'll be uh, on the vlogging stance of the same what happened at Lanithia Lounge and Cynthia was involved. Okay? So, I don't know. I don't know why this didn't transpire at Nene's house. You know, maybe Nene wasn't at home. She spends a lot of time at her lounge now to kind of get away from certain things. I wouldn't be surprised if Nene sell her home as well in the upcoming years. Because she might say it's just too much for her and Greg lived, you know, some years there. Uh, made some great memories. Had some bad memories. And she just don't want to be there anymore. That happens sometimes. So I wouldn't be not I would not be surprised if she changes addresses in the upcoming years. Uh, but that's all I got, people. That's all I got. I just had to come back and tell y'all, look who showed up. Looky, looky, looky. Here comes Cookie. You know, a dollar late. I'm gonna leave it alone, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to say a dollar late and a penny short. Okay, I'm going to say that. Okay. All them folks, them four women had some issues with Nene. But they came, came and supported her. You know, came and supported her. Nene, the queen of, well, she says the, she's the head 
bitch in charge over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She brought it to fruition and she bought half these people on the show. But as we know, she's no longer with the show. And I think she's doing real well. You know, uh, she needs to move on to better pastures, pretty much. Real Housewives of Atlanta is something that she definitely reigned when she was on it. And it, it just is what it is. I look for her. <laughs> her and Kim, child. I looked for them to be clowning on each other. Yes, I was, honey. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess you do find out who your true friends are when you're going through a lot of trauma in your life and who's there when the dust has settled and the fight has been resolved, whatever, you know, Nathan may have been going through at the time. Uh, and it wasn't Cynthia. Cynthia was not in her corner, uh, when it came to being exposed, uh, in the spotlight. Now, she may have done it in uh, behind the scenes, maybe. Uh, but, you know, when you're in the public eye, you need to make public appearances for different things and different reasoning. And it just shows me poor judgment. You know, uh, I mean, she could have sent her a video or, you know, some kind of recording or something. And they played it or whatnot. Because uh, she couldn't be there. Because, you know, I could see if she was across the country or something. You know, that would be a hell of a transport to try to get back here and taking a red eye. You know, that would, that would be very difficult. But, no, you were right up in L.A., okay? Some of these bloggers out here, one in particular said she was out there in your backyard barbecuing, you and Mike. That was House of Aaron. So if you want to go check him out, I got a little chuckle when he said that. <laughs> I said, no, was she cooking steak or pork, baby? Was she cooking steak or pork? You know, I had to join in on a little geeky. She says. Um, Cynthia and her husband out there barbecuing in the backyard. <laughs> Why she should have been in attendance, uh, great celebration party. I I thought I would fall out fall out my chill. Okay, but just to see this, okay, just to see this, and you can tell it's fake. That is not a true uh loving photo there. That's just like a photo op. Can I take a picture of y'all? Please, please, please. Sure, yes you can. Let's, you know, put the plastic uh smiles on. Okay, other than Marlo. <laughs> I think she was really having a good time. I think she had a few drinks as well. But that's all I had on this video, y'all. Do y'all believe Cynthia came here in Atlanta? A week short and a day. A week short and a day. Or when she should have been here. She gonna show up at Lanethia's lounge, trying to say she supported now. She ain't supported them. She supported now, or maybe she supported her in spirit. <laughs> but Cynthia, sometimes you have to show up and show out in difficult times. You know when you're having a difference of opinion with someone you once cared for. Sometimes you have to put on your big girl draws, okay, and step in and say, you know, I ain't necessarily here for you, but I'm here for Greg, okay. Because I love myself some Greg, alright? So I'll stay out your way. You know, if you didn't want me here, I'm going to be here anyway. Unless, you know, point security to, to you know, let me out. But it's going to be looking bad on you, not on me. Okay, but I go sit over in the cut. And get my memories of Greg. See everybody loving on him. See everybody celebrating his life. And then I'll leave. Okay, that's what she could have did. And that's showing up, showing out in a mature way. Okay, but she didn't do that. She didn't do that, y'all. She just showed up a week later in a day short. Okay. I'm like, what? Who does that? Who does that? But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all th thought about her coming to Atlanta finally. Or then maybe she just came to check on her house. And she just said, okay, I'll go drop by Lanita. I don't know what, what's going on in Cynthia's mind. She missed the boat too much. I'm about to put her and Portia in the same boat. Well, not even a boat, a canoe. And let them just go on down Chattahoochee Stream and see if they can get home. Either one of them, you know. They'll both probably need a map. But better yet, they probably start hollering. Start hollering and somebody will see them and rescue them. Okay? Because sometimes they just don't. They're not in the same train of thought as most reasonable people. And I'm talking about Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams. Okay? But anyway, that's all I have. Remember, all things work together for the good to those who love the Lord. Keep that in your mind and your spirit. You will go a long way. And if you like and love. And want to uh, help me out please share my videos and subscribe to my channel other than that love you guys and I will see y'all next video bye bye